Episode 333 of the UFO Buster Radio News Report. It is, uh, what is it, Tuesday the 21st, the day after MLK in the U.S. of A. Hey, that kind of rhymed. This is Manny Moonraker, and I'm here to talk to you about everything ufology, space, and everything that rubber dicks us in the night, because that's when we're the most vulnerable, I guess. That's what the stories say, right? That's when things go down and you want to pretend like it never happened. We got some new stories for you today. We have a message. Whether or not you've uh, you've heard it recently out of YouTube or Twitter, <laughs> I'm going to bring it to you. And uh, it's from it's from one of you use favorites ufology gods. A fallen god, fallen angel right now, right? Let's call him the devil, kind of. But we, you'll know. You'll know when I play this, who exactly it is. And the statements are uh, bordering ridiculous. There is definitely something wrong with this uh, ufology god that many of you have chosen to follow. And I know you do. I know a lot of you follow him because I get the uh, negative statements, the uh, the issues, the feelings of hater- hateration, should I say. Hateration fits really well here. Listen, I don't I don't really uh drop the poops on anyone that uh has a clear motive when they're doing things. But it seems, and I've said this for quite some time, that if you promote fake, crazy, outlandish uh, UFO stories, and yeah, you go along with claims that are 4.2 far amazing beyond the realm of what really is possible, and it's okay to go a little bit over that, but fuck, some people go all the way, as uh, Buzz Lightyear would say, to infinity and beyond. This individual does that, and they uh, he creates quite a world that's uh, more than just imaginary. It's uh, fucking ridiculous. And I can say that because that's what I do. So we're gonna we're gonna play that message from your ufology uh, demi god here shortly, so that you guys can just get it out your fucking system. Don't hit me up on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram. Or Facebook, by the way, if you want to follow any of those, the links are in the description. Like the way I segued into that. Don't hit me up on any one of those channels. Uh, you know, talking negative shit. This is your dude. This is your guy. This is your the one that you signed up to be your the wingman for. This is him in all his glory. Contradicting himself in every single way. And let me just say that I emphasize the word uh, after Contra. You figure that out. That's what he's doing to himself, to his fans. And and let me tell you, I want to be clear about this. After you listen to what he says, go on to his Instagram. You fucking search it. I'm not going to have the link for it in my podcast. You look for it and see how many of his so-called, uh, you know, loyal followers are, to quote him, dipping, are writing out. And the thing is that a lot of these people followed him for years. But now because they're like, damn, dude, you are fucked up. What? What? Who gave you the bad hash? Who mixed all this in your mess because shit you are you're falling off you are horrific the one thing and anyway we're we're not even going to talk about it now because i need to play the message first and then we'll get into uh why he's rubber dicking people in general and it's a sad state of affairs to be honest but it is a symptom of a down it is what's going on Before we get into our first little uh, musical break, because that's what I like to do to break things up with some music, I want to remind you guys, 
It is November 21st. You have about three weeks before the Tin Fall Hat Contest is over and all entries will be final. Please, don't let this opportunity go by. Don't be ashamed of the fact that you follow ufology. Don't don't take it as something you need to hide about. Come on, go on, stop fucking around. The New York Times ran stories about UFOs. They're still running stories about UFOs. Space.com is doing it in our second story. It's okay. You can come out of the closet. Feel free. I don't care if you come out in the... And you're wearing clothing you shouldn't be. I don't care if you're some 400 pound dude, hairy as fuck, and you're wearing a nightgown. It's okay. As long as you believe in UFOs, you're okay in my world. So you get ready. You come out here, you pull yourself up by your bigger, bigger panties, and let's do this. Totally. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Guter has signed on. He says in uh, January, uh, Manny, you said November 20, November 21st. Hashtag hold that. No, the due date for this is uh, February. It's not uh, November. That's kind of backwards. It's almost like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Guter, no, it is February. Listen, stop playing around, Guter. Guter. You go ahead and get your tinfoil hat going, just like everybody else. It is, I believe it was actually uh, before St. Valentine's Day, because, you know, I didn't want to interrupt you guys getting your groove on on February the 14th. So I, I kind of <laughs> kind of not made it February the 14th, just to say. I don't want to interrupt your, your happy lives and stuff like that, you know, because I understand. Do, 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 do. You know how that song goes. So, no. Uh, you know what? I'll get the exact dates because I guess I haven't put that out far enough. But if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you know where the dates are. Guter, you know where the dates are. Stop screwing around. You get your tinfoil hat ready. You put it on your cat, your dog, your grandma, your grandpa. I don't care who it is. Your mom, your dad, brother, sister, neighbor, Somebody you just dislike altogether. You hit that paparazzi picture when they're not expecting it. You submit that shit. We'll make them famous. If that's what it takes. The first little song we're going to play is for... Uh, actually, in the uh, recent data I've been getting, I understand that there is a... That, I'm going to be honest. There's probably one person in Puerto Rico that's actually playing... The uh, Year for Buster Radio podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as we've known the last few years, Puerto Rico has been... Uh, Mother Nature has been kicking Puerto Rico's ass, right? From hurricanes to earthquakes. There is just like no end to the troubles the island has been facing. And the, the fact that they've taken the time to listen to Year for Buster Radio, um, it's, it's wonderful. It's totally wonderful. So... For you guys out in uh, PR, Puerto Rico, I got this tune for you. So, uh, check it out. La toxic eres tú, cuando me tratas mal y si que es cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles, hermosa pero tú. Tienes como diez mil perfiles, uno que me ames y otro que me olvide. La toxic eres tú, cuando me tratas mal y si que cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles, hermosa, pero tú tienes como diez mil perfiles, uno que me ames y otro que me olvides. Eres todo lo que yo soñaba, ahora te quiero olvidar, con tiburones ya no sé nada, por eso ausente voy a estar. No me mereces, no me mereces, con las trampa tropeces, no es mucho lo que tú ofreces. Ella sabe lo que yo le doy Ella es consciente de lo que pasa Ya ni me le arrimo, aquí estoy Siendo estrella buscado en la NASA La tóxica eres tú Cuando me tratas mal y sigues Cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles Hermosa pero Pero no, cree que me gusta con sexo en la habitación Pero lo sé todo 
tanto como tú los besas Siempre vienes tarde con el dolor de cabeza No soy boba Sé lo que haces cuando no estoy yo Después me dices que te pasa amor Pues lo que pasa es que esta es tu canción Si quieres vos La tóxica eres tú Cuando me tratas mal y sigues Cuando tú me traicionas con vaciles Hermosa pero tú Tienes como diez mil perfiles Uno que me ames y otro que me olvides Yo siempre logra hacerlo Logra herirme lo siento, no, ya no soy así Ya me desperté de este frenesí Ella siempre logra hacerlo Logra herirme Ya la herida es hecha Aunque sea bella De ti y mi vida solo quedan huellas La tóxica eres tú Bugs is actually in here tonight, but uh, he actually hasn't snored in the last five minutes. So I have a feeling we are not going to be that lucky. It uh, will probably start up after we hear from our ufology god. Actually, he's more like a demigod. So uh, it's going to make some of you happy to hear this. You're going to listen to this message. You're going to pee in your pants like Galloway's and shit. You're going to be throwing your panties and your underwears on the stage or out the window. Um, but it's okay. I understand. You you love the guy. He is a wonderful. And I want to say uh, what's up to Green Man. He's on. By the way, Green Man, uh, Guter asked where you were. I said you're probably in jail somewhere next to our current news report. So check this out. Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here. Uh, I know a lot of you probably pretty surprised to see a video from me. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video. There's been a lot of rumors about what's happened. And uh, what can I say? It's been a terrible past couple of months. But I do want you to know the videos are coming. Uh, I ordered all new equipment. I had to wait for a preamp to come from my mic so I could record a video, uh, which came a couple days ago. And uh, new videos are coming. I know there are a lot of uh, troll comments, people speculating, saying a lot of crazy things about me. But I think for most of you who are diehard fans who have been with me for years, you know me. You know who I am. And... Um, you know, what can I say? People go through tough times in life. But I want you to know that uh, videos are coming. That uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm not done with YouTube. Uh, you know, there's no vast conspiracy about where I've been. It's just, it's just been a tough time. The last couple of months in my life, you know? And I'm human. You know, people make mistakes. Things happen. And I'm ready to get back to it. So, uh, you know, any of the haters out there who are without sin and have never made a mistake in their life, well, they can ride out. You know, they don't have to watch the channel. But I want all of the diehard or just average 
Secure Team fans to know that I love you. That I'm coming back. Here is my uh, new setup here. See if I can get on the laptop here. My setup. Got my new mic here. So, you know, we're all good to go. I'm not sure how the good it is on my uh, cell phone video, but hopefully you saw it. But I want you to know I appreciate all of you. I'm coming back. So insomnia team, secure team's not gone. Never. Never gone. Gonna keep doing this for the rest of my life. You know, to the haters, to the to the people spreading rumors. I could care less. You guys can ride out, dip out, you know, keep talking your trash, but I think the real people know, the real fans know who I am, a good man. I'm not going to get into everything that's happened the past uh, few months, but I will be back. So just know that. I'm getting back to work today, working on a new video. I will see you guys soon. We love you, Tyler. Come on, shut the f... I don't understand this. He is so fucking pitiful. It's ridiculous. This is so fucking sad. Now, here's the thing. This is a guy who ran around, especially on uh, Twitter, talking about, oh, the MIB, they got me. They finally got me. They set me up. No. What do, what do you mean? I, I, are you stupid, bro? Are you... What is it that you think your fan base doesn't know how to read? Do they not have a working Twitter account? Maybe that's what it is. What an idiot. Plain, simple, full-blown idiot. And if you look at this video, I actually I actually looked at it because actually uh, I think it was the uh, the Out There channel where I first saw the commentary on this. So I, I wouldn't just say, let me see, fuck it, let me go on to Security Team 10. When I tell you, he's he's basically living out of a hotel room. He is living in a hotel room, and he's showing his uh, fancy new laptop, and uh, I don't know what the fuck else he showed. Probably a microphone. But he's in a hotel room. He's pacing around like a caged animal inside a hotel room, talking about, you fuckers, right out. Who the fuck uses that term, right out anymore? Dip out, right out? He's like stuck in the 70s, 80s. I don't know what it is. He's confused. He is, because a lot of the information that people are talking about, came from him. He's the one who said that uh, men in black were after him. He's the one who said that he didn't know whether or not the cop that arrested his ass knew who he was. <laughs> like a big fucking conspiracy. What are you... Do you even... Apparently he doesn't even buy his own shit because he's telling people to write out off of the shit that he told people. There is something completely <laughs> wrong with him. Something is really not working. There's a few neurons that stopped firing a long time ago when it came to Mr. Uh, Tyler Lochner. Something's broken there. Like he's not even believing his own shit, to be honest. This is crazy. Agreement says a uh, crook makes you uh, what, paranoid. I don't even think he's on coke. Is he? If he's on coke or meth, I don't know. Well, actually, he can't be on meth because on the video, he, he, seemed, he seemed to have all his teeth. So it might not be meth. It's something else. He's lining something else with uh, coke or some other drug. But the fact is, for you to say shit and then turn around and debunk it yourself and then blame people for using what you first said you're fucked up in the head. You've taken too much without the Vaseline. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, you know, you kind of feel sorry for the guy because he's not even reading his own shit, to be honest. Like, you know what, Tyler? If you spend so much money on attorneys to make this go away, for it to be thrown out of court, you need to spend some money with your 2 million followers on YouTube to help you answer and write, uh, I you know, freaking Twitter messages. I don't know what it is. Your your story it just switches all the time. You basically debunked yourself and said you're an asshole 
for uh, making all these accusations. That's, I don't know. Which Tyler was it? There's Tyler Lochner A and Tyler Lochner B. Thank you, Bugs, for chiming in. So we definitely have a uh, a serious uh, dual personality, split personality. I don't know who we're dealing with right now. I mean, this could be the Tyler Lochner that's in a hotel room going to rehab at the moment. And uh, the fucker that went crazy on his Instagram and, and Twitter is the one that was, uh, you know, in that false reality, thinking the MIB was trying to arrest him. And they convinced a local police officer to uh, arrest him because he was the famous Security 10 um, head of, uh, I don't know, craziness, debauchery, rubber dickery. So there you go. That's what it is. Uh, Greenwood says maybe he just started meth uh, during that stint in jail. I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know. I guess uh, according to him, the story continues. He will be back to provide us some more entertainment. It's really what it is. And the thing is, dude, keep your story straight. You know, if you were out for a hooker and then the hooker turned around and tried to hit you up for money and you got into an altercation and then you went home and you beat up your fiance because she found out what the fuck you were doing, that's a little different from the MIB trying to track you down and some cop uh, with a, you know... A, a noisy cricket in his back pocket trying to use a neuralizer on you. That's a completely different story. I don't know what the hell you're going with this. But uh, we're going to find out in the next time that he actually drops a video. Is it going to be the same Tyler Lochner? Um, there was a tweet where he uh, kind of repeated the same thing he did in this audio clip. And many people were saying, hey, dude, I've been a fan of you for some time. However, you're fucked up in the head. I don't think I can follow you anymore. So if your own fan base is saying this to you, there's a time for retrospection. And maybe a single room hotel might be able to get you there. So hopefully while he's sitting on the shitter, he'll be able to think about this and uh, come back with a different story. Something more believable.
this uh, news report just caught me off guard because I was looking at the live chat box. If you are on Spreaker.com and you download the Spreaker app, you can chat with me live when I do the episodes. And that's the only way you're going to know. I don't have a scheduled time other than the Thursday night freak out at 10 p.m. Every other time during the week, it just happens whenever I fucking get to it. That's when I do the episode. But you're not going to know unless you go to Spreaker.com and you sign up for that notification bell. Otherwise, you'll hear it if you're on iTunes, uh, Spotify, iHeart, Stitcher, any other place. You'll know after the fact. You won't know live. But, you know, I didn't get a chance to whip my whistle with my vodka uh, because I was looking at the live chat box. But this next, uh, next, next, did you hear that? <laughs> like the Russian kicked in just all of a sudden. Next uh, news article, it's about uh, traveling through time as humans, coming back to fuck with our own heads. That's my synopsis for it. Thank you very much. Good night. No, actually, the title for the article, and let me tell you this, and this is the part that really drives me insane. This is from Space.com. Space.com really doesn't, uh, in the past, really didn't, should I say, buy into the whole alien shit, the whole, you know, craziness. And really, I want to say again, and, and much respect to To The Stars Academy, Tom DeLong Short, and uh, Commander David Fravor, because at Elizondo the Thief, you know, swiper, don't swipe. And, and really, it's, it's up to them. It really, it's because of them, should I say, that um, things like Space.com, Internet sites like Space.com, are embracing the conversation about uh, aliens. That really is the truth about it. You guys look back. Look back before 2017. Did Space.com really embrace the idea of intelligent alien life, ETs or aliens or whatever the fuck you want to call it, coming to the planet, that any of that even existed? Even, even, even was real to anyone? That it even happened? Today, 2020, brand new year, the article on Space.com says this, Are aliens us? Question mark. UFOs may be piloted by time-traveling humans, a book argues. Come on, Space.com, don't blame it on the fucking book. You know, you know you're on the bandwagon. You fell off that turnip truck right into the fucking uh, express train to ufology. I guarantee you, they will continue this trend of posting ufology-esque Articles about aliens, abduction. You know, when they first have uh, their first abduction story, I'm going to be all excited about it. We'll talk about it for days on this podcast. Guaranteed. According to this, the great distances covered by visiting aliens may be ones of time rather than space, according to a recent book. Don't blame the book, fuckers. I know you. The article is talking about a uh, a book that was written by Michael Masters. And he is a professor of biology, or oh, actually biological anthropology, at Montana Technical University in Butte. Masters thinks that given the accelerating pace of change in science, technology, and engineering, it is very much likely that humans of the distant future could develop the knowledge of uh, and machinery necessary to return to the past. I bet you he's a big Michael J. Fox fan. That's all i got to say about that. Let's move on. According to the quote here, I took a multidisciplinary approach in order to try to understand the oddities of this phenomena. Yeah, it's odd. I get it. He says our job as scientists is to be asking big questions and try to find answers to unknown questions. There's something going on here. No shit, Sherlock. What the fuck, you paid how much for that degree? Uh, we should have, you should be having conversations about this. We should at the forefront of trying to find out what it is. So in case you haven't guessed it, Mr. Masters believes that 
the aliens that we see today on planet Earth are not coming from the other side of the universe, the other side of the Milky Way, from uh, Proxima A or fucking B, Andromeda, none of that shit. He says it's humans. It's future humans who've who've basically figured out how to travel back in time, and so they're coming back to help us out. I don't even know if it's helping. Like, why would future humans come back to stick probes up our asses? That makes no sense to me. Maybe if we can find an email for him, we can ask him that. Why would future humans who have, let's say, maybe one or two hundred years of uh, ass development want to probe a two hundred year old ass to look for what? Makes no sense to me. I don't care. I'm just saying that, Master, so suck it up. Uh, I, here's a quote by uh, Jan Harzan, because Jan Harzan kind of tuned in. If you don't know, Jan Harzan is the executive director of MUFON, and which is a mutual UFO network for you guys who are laymen at this. Jan Harzan says, Master's postulates that using a multidisciplinary scientific approach which is what he said in his own fucking quote, uh, to the UFO phenomenon will be what it takes to solve this mystery once and for all, and I couldn't agree more. Jan, what the fuck do you agree with? You just repeated the guy's fucking statement. I have no idea. What is she... (laughs) This is why the people at MUFON get paid no bucks. Because of shit like this. This This is why it's fucking non-profit. Because you just repeated the guy's fucking statement and you said you agree. But we don't know what the fuck you agree about. It's a sad state of affairs, to be honest. I can't, uh, I'm glad I don't work for MUFON or any one of those nonprofits. Fuck, actually, UFO Buster Radio is like a nonprofit too. Actually, zero profit. There's like none. There's zero profit. But you know, uh, not everyone believes. That aliens today are coming from the future and coming back to visit humanity for whatever fucking reason you want to think about. Some people say it's to save us from ourselves, to uh, disarm us from uh, nuclear annihilation, to keep the planet happy, save the uh, the penguins in the Antarctic, save the whales. I don't know. Whatever fucking PETA uh, drive that you have. That's what uh, aliens are coming from, from phone point too far in the future. Not even in the other part of the galaxy. They're coming from the future to save the humpbacks. Because there is no humping around in the future. Uh, Robert Schaefer, who is a, a UFO skeptic, actually is quoted in this article as saying, there is nothing in this book to take seriously. God, that's a burn. As it depends on the belief that time travel is not only possible, but real. So Shaver gives zero fucks for Masters and Jan just, uh, I don't know what Jan was, I mean, it feels like Jan's getting a kickback or something from Masters that we may not want to talk about. Uh, according to this, supposedly our distant descendants have mastered time travel and he says that, uh, um, time travel to visit us for some reason. So according to Masters, you just spin something fast enough and it will begin to warp space and time and even send stuff backwards. This is highly dubious as a claim. Schaefer just doesn't believe that there isn't any meat to what Masters is saying. And to be honest, what the fuck? There is nothing you can prove. Like Masters wrote this book you know, Jan is sucking it up like uh, like his white on rice. And everybody else is like caught like, uh, what do we do with this? Thanks, Bugs. And so, yeah, so I don't know. It is hard to believe that it is humanity. Humanity that's um, in the form of like four foot gray aliens with big ass eyeballs. And really... For all you guys who use Rogaine or any kind of stuff to keep your hair on your head, just fucking give it up. Because according to Masters, you will be bald. Don't bother tanning because your future generations will be gray as fuck. They'll have no hair. 
that won't even have genitals or a butthole. So, I mean, just just let it all go. Stop trying to shave your head, get Rogaine. Forget about the manscaping or anything else because you will have no genitals in the future. And though you might be getting probed now, no worries in about 200 years because future you has no entry or exit points. Plain and simple. Schaefer also says that Masters tries to deduce aliens' evolutionary history from witness descriptions suggesting that he takes such accounts far too literally. Uh, you know, there is a lot to be discussed here regarding this particular situation. A lot of people do believe that aliens are not from another place in the universe, but they are coming from our own future, trying to help us, trying to be better humans. But what evidence is there for that? Who is a witness to aliens from the future? How does that work in any account, to be honest? Does Travis Walton, was that his great-grandfather that came back and abducted his ass? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it was. Because I would think that my great-great-great-great-grandfather would be at least generous to me, kind, and would like to say, hey, hello, rather than take me onto a ship and then uh, probe me repeatedly, put me back together and and throw me by on the side of the road naked. I don't know. But I don't know what kind of grandfather I would have in the future, so it might be a kinky thing he's into. Who fucking knows? The articles for uh, this particular situation is in the description if you want to check it out. There's a lot more information regarding the, the book that was written by Masters. Nothing else about Jan... Or Schaefer, because nobody really gives two fucks about them other than them clouding and muddying the waters. That's all they do. Because they're halfway useful. Or halfway useless, depending on how you look at things. Check it out. Read a little more. Uh, As far as Secure Team 10, geez, you need to go onto their YouTube. But you're only going to see his uh, crazy looking mug besides the the, uh, audio you heard, so... Nothing more there. Check this out.
Keep rocks and keep riding on. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, this is uh, Manny Moonraker, and I thank you guys for listening. And listen, keep an eye out for the Dark Horde this weekend. I've got such a crazy story. You will question the motives of some of the 70 year olds in your family. I guarantee you, you will keep an eye on those fuckers. I don't care who it is. It could be your your uncles. It could be your grandma, your your granddad. You keep one eye on them. Because when I tell you the story that's coming up on a dark cord on Saturday, DTA, don't trust anyone that's on Social Security. That's all I'm going to say. Because uh, you're, you'll be fucked. Pretty, pretty damn and simple. God, we, I'm telling you, when I read the story, I was like, this is going on a dark horde. And uh, anybody over like 60, I'm not going to trust your ass at all. I thank you for listening to UFO Buster Radio. Don't forget the tinfoil hat contest. I want to give this Amazon stuff to somebody. Somebody's got to win it. And again, uh, for you listening Puerto Rico, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. It's been a hard time in PR due to natural things. You know, some people might have a conspiracy that this is happening because of, uh, you know, control by the government, controlling the weather. No, shut the fuck up. It's uh, shit that happens. They're in the tropics. Shit goes wrong. They're in the middle of the ocean. Fucking volcanoes, earthquakes. They're not uh, immune from shit like that, but that's the way it goes. So thank you for listening. And anyone else, anywhere else, if you took the time to listen to UFO Buster Radio, thank you. Don't forget about uh, tuning into the Dark Horde. We need you there too. Completely separate subject, Dark Horde Episode 2. That's right, Guter. It's going to be exciting. By the way, the the equipment to conduct the... uh, first-hand research in haunted places, it's on the way. So I predict that sometime between mid-February and mid-March, we will have our first live research done. It is going to be exciting. When I tell you, it's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to love it because I don't think there's anywhere else where stuff like this happens live on a podcast. And eventually we'll get to YouTube. We'll do it live on YouTube. And then, you know, I'll I'll mess up and I'll do some crazy shit and I'll come on here from a hotel room and beg you guys to continue to listen and view because that's the way it fucking goes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out. Boo Raker. Heading down to the darkness. Ciao.